Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we have Vincent Shans speaking out about how the pandemic has affected them, both locally and internationally. Big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like these. Remember if you hit the bell icon you will always get the latest updates from St. Vincent and told stories. First on the list we feature Stumpy the Boss, a Vincent and artist and a producer. Without further ado, here's what Stumpy has to say. Hello people. Well, my name is um, Stumpy the Boss, owner of Stumpy the Boss Records. Yeah, and this pandemic is not treating us artists and producers fairly, you know, because for instance, number one, no carnival, you understand, which means no stage show. No performing, no performance, no nothing for we as artists. You understand? And the pandemic have us on a serious lockdown because speaking for the artists, most of the artists them, you know, they wanna do music but they don't have it financially right now to do the music. You understand? I have a rhythm to put out and it's been holding back for the longest while because of financial problems with artists you know a man go call me and say yo boss me get a tune for vice but the money not there right now you understand more times me willing but i'm weak because okay i'm gonna do so go in my studio turn on my equipment them stay there for three hours or more and burn up some current and then who are gonna pay for it? How it I gonna get paid for it? A man might invest a eight hundred in a in a pro, in a project and you know with the intention for go hard on it so when the carnival come you know you might touch a stage show you make a little two hundred you know you touch semis you make a five hundred you understand you touch a little thing you make a little one fifty you know and add up and add up that you know it is it's not it's not like that anymore, you know. It's like if you spend five hundred, it's just five hundred unless you know you you have your copyrights them organized and everything so you could stream sales whatever, you know. But most artists is not, you know, on that level as yet as copywriting. And I think a stimulus package should be given out to artists and producers because you have I know of artists been singing for years. Check out Luther, 25 years and counting, singing. You know? And no carnival now happened for like two years now. So how are those guys are gonna, you know, make money because yo, even though they have a little bit once you not make no more and you use or you have it have it have a finish. You understand? So I think a stimulus package would help us musicians, you know, to continue to contribute to our culture, which is soca music, you know, and any other genre, but soca is just our culture. You understand? And I think a stimulus package will really suit us. You understand? I mean, I know. They give stimulus package to certain people who didn't deserve it. Them take the money, buy a car, and mind their woman. <laughs> take money and buy the car, mind their woman. You know? But we, we're not going to do that. We're going to take it, invest it in music, and give people more things to enjoy while they are at home. You know? And that's, I think, the, 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 the bigger heads them should look into it and see that we as artists, you know, just... Just, you know, just look at us because we are important because if not for we, no carnival can really happen in terms of, you know, music-wise. You check it, so 
Because all my producer right now up on the grind me for the Right now me a man van right here so now if we wash down and make a little money You understand? That's how it thing goes so We just wanna stick back to our music so I'm just asking the people them Who's in charge just look at the artists and the producers them We need a little thing You understand? We need to be You know we want to contribute every time to our culture Soca music you know Yes we wanna do that you know So just look into that Talking to the people them in charge, you know, unless we we'll just do music. Uh, artists wanna do music, but just the, the, the financially they can't. So I just want them to look into that. I know we here, we still love music. Just remember we here. That was the advice from Storm Bede Boss. Let me just add a few things to what Storm B said. I conducted an interview on the countryside. Asking artists and producers if they had applied for the prime grant. All of them said yes, but they said they were never called. Tell me something, when an artist do not show, doesn't it employ vendors, bartenders, songman and a policeman? Can't remember when I die gate and a policeman I want to be the security and never get paid when the artists then perform. Stumpy stands correct when he said some funds were misused. Because we know man say so them want big sheep and goat and from the time them get the money, them not do nothing with it. And them not employ a soul because the business for them a register for a just a one man thing. We need some business that could employ about 10, 20 people. We are not bashing anyone who got a prime grant. What the man is saying, music is universal and it employs thousands of people. What he's asking is for them to show us a product. Of someone who got a prime grant who has a product on the international market, per se in the United States or Canada right now. We have been complaining now for several years, saying that St. Vincent imports products more than it exports. So all we are asking, where are the products that are exported? I'm not talking about the regular seasoning and those things. You have so many unique things. So you want to tell me? No recipient of the brand grant. Not even built an app. They can sell to Mark Zuckerberg, Google, Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett. And that you tell me. So a creativity is. As I said, it is good that some youth and some elders have created some YouTube page and have followed St. Vincent and told stories. But you have so many things we can do. Affiliate marketing, stock market investing, affiliates for Amazon, web designers, app creators, so many. But who did they for show youth? Uh, where the man has say, where artists are getting all this stimulus package? We produce target. You want to tell me nothing? Uh, let's move over to England and have a chat with DJ Blast, your Vincent and DJ. Yo, 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 yo. I don't know, it's a DJ Blast, you mean, yeah. For a big up Vinci and Toll Story, you know what I mean? For me start, I want to tell you, say, Vinci and Toll Story, you're going good, you know what I mean? It's a good look, it's a good look. It's a good channel, it's a good thing. We a bit of history about it, you know what I mean? Vincian's people, you know what I mean? So big up yourself, Vincian told story. Can't fight that. We live, in a, we live in the UK, you know what I mean? But the pandemic do good and you do bad, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, you know, you want to see family and you can't see family and, and them things there right now because of traveling, restriction and all them something there and quarantine and you know what I mean, all the people don't want to travel I mean but the pandemic, the pandemic do a good thing because things like Vinci and Toll Story and Blackin and them thing there and them thing the people excited to see right now because you know people they home and they just don't have nothing to do so all them could do was just watch Blackin and me, me personally I like watch stage shows and things like that. So, them things they just keep my, me. And anybody who know me, know that me have a passion for music. And me a man, me interested in a DJ a long time, but me never really get the time to sit back 
and study the craft and do the thing right. You know what I mean? So now, me a time to relax and you know, me work a lot and thing, but still me a time still, cause even though when you work, you got time to go out and go party or go somewhere or do something to distract it. So now, there's a the restriction and like lockdown basically in England. You don't have nowhere to go, there's no clubs open, no pubs, nothing so you have to be home and know yourself. So basically me know my me get to know myself more that me very you know me have a talent and you know me buy equipment them, you know what I mean me buy equipment them, me buy records, you know, and you know and get to save more money, get to save to get sort of things that they want, equipment, you know what I mean? And play music and me see me talent and lots of people see me talent too, which is DJing, you know what I mean? And me got a lot of recommend, good recommendation about me, about me thing. I mean, cause people come here, come on, come on me yard and, and see me could do me thing and me go live now and then and people see me thing and people give me recommendation, you know. Me feel, me not reach there yet, but still, you know, people know that, know that me have me talent, you know what I mean? So, things like that, things like that, you know what I mean? Things like that people, you know, keep up. Keep them up, absolutely. In this pandemic, here, man, you get to know yourself, cause it, as I said, you do good and bad. I mean, cause a lot of people get depressed and all that. But me, you know, personally, me like to humble myself and you know, get to know, get to know myself more. You know what I mean? So, yeah, these are the things that people do. Like, example, things like voices, the bounty killer and. Being man voices, people was excited to see these kind of things, you know what I mean? Cause these are the things that people you know people want to see right now. Like the live shows and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So keep doing that story, you story, big up yourself man. It's a good look. You can't fight that at all. It's a good look man, big up. Bless up yourself. DJ Blasi say that. Big up to DJ Blasi and the UK massive. Yeah, what the man has said is that the pandemic bring out plenty of talent. And I told you, you know, because I have a youth from Jamaica, pitching wen wen. At them time, the man, they march out to you know, Solini and the whole massive. Lava was not into the Instagram thing either. Because I remember when Lava had 2,000 followers. And now Lava had one of the biggest shop on Instagram. YouTube was doing a ratio. And they said that during this pandemic, it's the most views they ever got. DJ Blast, he is one of the smarter DJs. Yeah, the man say he had the talent. But he didn't have the time because work can take up all the time and sometimes them go party. So what the man do now as them can party, the man take the money and buy some equipment. While he has a man, them never not try to go live and build up them thing. But once DJ Blast, he continue, he's going to make it. The man say people don't recommend him. The man is a hustler. The man now sit back and make the pandemic keep them down. And that may tell some youth. He has other things for the internet who can go and do. Now it's time you can research. You see, man, I don't like to to and told story where teach them something. You can go on Facebook and search with DJ Blasi and hit the notification. So every time the man go live, yeah, they are the only live one time. It may seem hard at first, but giving up is not an option when you know where you are coming from. I watch DJ Kid on Facebook from Trinidad. Start at 100 people upon him live. Last time I check it, there are 2,000. You see what hard work do? Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more like these. We have more episodes like these coming up, but we didn't want to join out the video. So you would see more people saying how they felt about the pandemic or what they are going through.